It is amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. If you can't convince them, confuse them. You want a friend in Washington? Get a dog. It's a recession when your neighbor loses his job. It's a depression when you lose yours. There is nothing new in the world except the history you do not know. America was not built on fear. America was built on courage, on imagination and an unbeatable determination to do the job at hand. Richard Nixon is a no good lying bastard. He can lie out of both sides of his mouth at the same time and if he ever caught himself telling the truth he'd lie just to keep his hand in. In reading the lives of great men I found that the first victory they won was over themselves. Self-discipline with all of them came first. Men make history and not the other way around. In periods where there is no leadership, society stands still. Progress occurs when courageous, skillful leaders seize the opportunity to change things for the better. I never did give anybody hell. I just told the truth and they thought it was hell. A pessimist is one who makes difficulties of his opportunities and an optimist is one who makes opportunities of his difficulties. The reward of suffering is experience. When you have an efficient government, you have a dictatorship. You can never get all the facts from just one newspaper, and unless you have all the facts, you cannot make proper judgments about what is going on. Carry the battle to them. Don't let them bring it to you. Put them on the defensive and don't ever apologize for anything. The Marine Corps is the Navy's police force, and as long as I am president, that is what it will remain. They have a propaganda machine that is almost equal to Stalin's. I have found the best way to give advice to your children is to find out what they want and then advise them to do it. A leader in the Democratic Party is a boss. In the Republican Party, he is a leader. I had faith in Israel before it was established. I have in it now. I believe it has a glorious future before it. Not just another sovereign nation, but as an embodiment of the great ideals of our civilization. When even one American who has done nothing wrong is forced by fear to shut his mind and close his mouth, then all Americans are in peril. I never gave anybody hell. I just told the truth and they thought it was hell. A politician is a man who understands government. A statesman is a politician who's been dead for 15 years. A president cannot always be popular. The only things worth learning are the things you learn after you know it all. Those who want the government to 
regulate matters of the mind and spirit are like men who are so afraid of being murdered that they commit suicide to avoid assassination. You can always amend a big plan, but you can never expand a little one. I don't believe in little plans. I believe in plans big enough to meet a situation which we can't possibly foresee now. I do not believe there is a problem in this country or the world today which could not be settled if approached through the teaching of the Sermon on the Mount. It is understanding that gives us an ability to have peace when we understand the other fellow's viewpoint and he understands ours. Then we can sit down and work out our differences. Actions are the seed of fate. Deeds grow into destiny. Intense feeling to often obscures the truth. I would rather have peace in the world than be president. The president is always abused if he isn't, he isn't doing anything. The atom bomb was no great decision. It was merely another powerful weapon in the arsenal of righteousness. My father was not a failure. After all, he was the father of a president of the United States all the president is, is a glorified public relations man who spends his time flattering, kissing, and kicking people to get them to do what they are supposed to do anyway. I remember when I first came to Washington for the first six months, you wonder how the hell you ever got here. For the next six months, you wonder how the hell the rest of them ever got here. If I hadn't been president of the United States, I probably would have ended up a piano player in a body house. All my life, whenever it comes time to make a decision, I make it and forget about it. Thanks for watching.